Good evening. Uh, this is Luke Thomas, home coach here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. <clears throat> it's 7.39 in the evening on Friday, February 4th, 2022. 7.39 p.m. Friday, February 4th, 2022. All right, let's take a look at the uh, forecast. We added another country today, and we'll get to that in a little bit. First, we'll start with uh, California. 98% risk down here near the Salton Sea. We are looking for a 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake is likely in Southern California, most likely near the Salton Sea and Los Angeles on February 4th to February 7th. Um, and the risk continues to build in that area. So between the 4th and the 7th, looking for a significant uh, earthquake, 5.5 to 6.0 in Southern California, and we will keep an eye on that. All right, Alaska. We had this 88% 88% risk here near Sand Point. We got a 5.4 there. Now the risk is from the fourth to the seventh is in this area right here in the uh, Gulf of uh, Alaska and Kodiak Island here, south and southeast of Anchorage. And then on the fifth through the eighth. Uh, moderately high risk here near Sand Point, but very high risk near Juneau, which could produce a 5.0 earthquake uh, near Juneau on February 5th through the 8th. Very high risk in uh, uh, the country of Greece, in northern uh, northwest Greece, the 4th through the 7th, looking for a 5.0 to 5.5 in northwest Greece, uh, the 4th through the 7th. Chile. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember yesterday we said that uh, we're looking for a, a significant earthquake here near uh, Copiapo in the 70% risk area. And there it is, 4.6 earthquake hit east of Copiapo and northeast of La Serena, southeast of Antofagasta, exactly as we said yesterday, right in this high risk area here. Now the risk is centered near La Serena north of Santiago, Chile, and south of Copiapo, right near La Serena, 73% risk. That could get a 4.0 to 4.5 earthquake. The fifth through the eighth, Indonesia. If you watched our video yesterday, we said uh, this area of Western Sumatra down to Western uh, Java is this very high risk here. And we expected a 5.0 earthquake. You can see that in the forecast here. And what did we get? We got a 5.2 right here in Western uh, Java, southwest of Jakarta. And you can see on the map here, it's right in this area, the 79% risk area in that high risk area that was extending down here. We expected a 5.0 and we got it, 5.2, 5.2. Now in Italy, we're expecting a 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake here in East Central Italy, Northeast of Naples from the 4th through the 6th of February. So keep an eye on that. In Peru, uh, the forecast map before this one uh, was up here in the farther in the north. On the 1st through the 4th though, it's in this central area, but very large risk area. And that's when that 6.5 hit Peru. Now the risk is centered here in south central uh, Peru and, and uh, Lima, Peru is up here. So southeast of Lima and south central Peru, we could get a 5.0, 5.5 on the 4th through the 7th. And that's the new country we added. Also, we have Ecuador in here as well. Japan, uh, the risk is southeast of Tokyo right now. And in the next, next forecast map we'll be putting out shortly, the risk begins to build in Kumamoto, in far western Japan, southwest Japan. All right, and right now, it's kind of quiet right now, but things are gonna pick up very soon. Looking for a significant earthquake in Southern California near the Salton Sea. A 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake is likely near the Salton Sea today, the 4th through the 7th. Uh, the larger earthquakes 
sometimes wait a little while. They usually end up in the, at the end of the forecast period. Um, but uh, we'll see. Fourth through the seventh, looking for a 5.5 to 6.0 in the Salton Sea here. So pretty strong earthquake coming up in Southern California near Los Angeles, uh, the fourth through the seventh. And again, in Alaska, the risk is now near Kodiak on the 4th through the 7th, and the 5th through the 8th, it's near Juneau, Alaska. Greece expecting a strong earthquake in northwestern Greece, um, about a 5.0 to 5.5, the 4th through the 7th. And Chile, about a 4.5 near La Serena. Indonesia, the risk continues in this area in western Sumatra down to western Java. And we already got that earthquake there, but we could expect some more stuff in that area. Italy, about a 4.5 to 5.0 is possible in East Central Italy. And now the risk is in Southern Peru. We just added this map for Peru and Ecuador. Uh, South Central Peru could get a 5.0 to 5.5. All right. So that's the warning for Southern California. <laughs> And uh, thank you for your support here at quakeprediction.com. And we will be uh, back again tomorrow. And uh, I'm expecting that uh, quake to hit very soon in uh, Southern California. The risk is uh, building. And I, I believe there'll be a significant earthquake during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And then a much bigger quake coming up uh, in about uh, three or four days from now. Uh, as the risk be, uh, continues to build in that area. So I think we'll get a, a nice strong force shock uh, in, the, in the next uh, t uh, 36 hours and then a much bigger earthquake later on, but we'll have more details about that tomorrow and the next day. Thanks again for your support here at quakeprediction.com. We've been researching earthquakes for 17 years now. And uh, this latest forecast model has really improved uh, the other data that we had uh, so we are getting very close now, and you can see as we forecast around the country and around the world, the forecasts are getting very accurate now, very, very accurate. And uh, we have 187,000 followers on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And uh, thanks to every one of you for your support. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be continuing to add other countries as well. Uh, but stay safe in Southern California, looking for a strong earthquake. And then a stronger one coming up in Southern California, maybe uh, like uh, three or four days from now. But right now in the next 36 hours, look for about a five point, well, about a 5.0 to 5.5. And I think the larger one will come in about three or four days from now. All right, thanks so much. And we will talk to you tomorrow.